Hi, on this Trading Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to change a board and what to look out for on an electric boiler, one of our MTEX. So we need to take the cover off. There is one screw on the top cover. That will come out and we can remove the top part. We can now do a dead test to make sure it's off. And now we can go about disconnecting the cables. Main cable's off, pull the plug. That's our pump live and thermostat connection. And we can take the bottom panel off now with just three screws. Slowly take the cut panel off because we need to pull our connection off for our small control board on the front. On this side, we have our overheat stack connection. And on this side, we've got our thermistor. Down on the side, these are connections to our elements. We need to pull these off. They go in pairs and they are color coded. So once that's disconnected, we're ready to take the board off. So what we'll start is we have one, two screws, another two screws there and one just at the top. So five in total. Now if I take out the bottom screw and the important thing here is to get yourself some M3 rod that we can then replace the screw with our rod. The reason for this is so it makes it very easy to relocate the board back on its frame, as you will see when we get it out. So this will come off sliding along the threaded rods. So there we are. So as we can see, at the back there's a thing called a heat sink. This is all part of the temperature sensing for this uh, unit. So we need to make sure that when we replace the board, we put plenty of heat sink compound on here. So we can make sure that it makes a very good connection and it senses the heat very well. If we don't, they can overheat. As you can see, plenty of heat sink compound. Now we can put the new board in. If you look, we've got a plate at the back. These threaded rods will help Hold it and guide in the new PCB. Make sure you don't trap the cables as it goes in. So you can see as I pull this through, we've got the screw just there. Without the threaded rod, it is very hard to relocate this and it will be a struggle. So now we've got those two connected, we can put the rest of the screws in. Make sure they are very tight because once again, it's a heat sink, it needs to be very good contact with the unit. So we need to make sure it's nice and tight and it's gonna sense the temperature. There you are, a little jiggle, nice and tight. So let's get the elements reconnected make sure they're color coded and go back in pairs so the two red ones and the two blue ones as a pair some of them will have more connections than this but you just need to make sure you pair them off okay let's put our temperature sensor back our thermistor Overheat. That's better. We can put our plug back on for our control. So let's get our connect cables connected. Make sure when you tighten them up, you tighten them up good and tight. If they're not nice and tight, because it's going to draw a lot of power. We could get some arcing and that will damage the PCB. And of course, when you tighten them in, give them a good tug to make sure they're not going to come out. 
there we go. Lastly, we'll just get the cover back on. So we need to plug in our ribbon on there, which is for our control board. And we'll screw the bottom on. We'll put the top cover on, sliding up from the top and in. All done and ready to go. If you'd like any more training on our electric boilers or anything else, heat ray or baxi do, just inquire on the training website. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Thank you.